guys, Cassie here, and we're going to talk about how to really push through a tough workout to make sure you give your maximal effort and to get the results that you want super quickly. So the reason why we're talking about this this week is because I recently was in a super workout rut and I didn't feel like lifting weights or running and when I did I would allow myself to stop early. It was just really a not good situation. I really needed to find my motivation again and for me once I lose my motivation and my drive I feel like I've completely lost it. So I need to go to like external sources to find a way to inject some life back into me. So whether that means reading different blogs, watching other people's videos, or reading magazines and books, whatever it is, um, I tried it all and it just was not happening. And because I have a video shoot coming up, I really needed to make changes. I need to make changes quick. So. For me, that means pairing up with another fitness professional. So I actually had someone else kick my booty for a week. And let me tell you, when someone else tells you to do something, you perform and you perform hard. So I know that's why you guys like doing my Pop Pilates videos or having me coach you through the screen because it's easier than telling yourself to do, oh, okay, I'm going to do 25 leg lifts, but if I get to like 15 and I don't, finished it's kind of okay it is not okay my trainer was pushing me through these really tough workouts let me tell you I was sweating I was biting my tongue I don't know why I bite my tongue when things get hard but I do and I was constantly telling myself like Cassie you can do this I hope you didn't think I was weird and there were so many times I wanted to just die. But I was like, no, I'm going to wait for him to save five more. And I'm going to give the hardest last five I can. Why? I want the results. And I know that if I'm not going to die, I'm going to end up stronger. And it's going to be more worth it in the end. Do so you know what I thought about every time I wanted to die? I thought about that vision board. That's right guys, I pulled in last week's challenge. So I hope you made a vision board last week because we're talking about it right now. For those of you that didn't, well, you better download Picasa and make that vision board because if you can't even get your thoughts on paper, I don't know what to say about how dedicated you are to your goals. Get that vision board done and hang it up on the wall. Hang it up. So for every squat, every extra push up, every burpee, every jump squat, everything that we did, I bit my tongue and I thought about those abs or those arms or how toned I needed to look before this shoot. I said, this is worth it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to push it and nothing is going to stop me. Nothing. And you know why? Because I'm not going to die. Maybe it feels like I'm going to die but I know I'm not, so why not? Even if it's your last two push-ups and you can't go all the way down, go halfway, I don't care. You're just gonna do it, right? Because it's better than nothing. And the fact that you're working so hard, not only do you build up those muscles, you build up that strength, that energy, and that confidence knowing that you can push yourself when you think you can't. And sometimes it's some strength that you can't even define. It's just a mental, spiritual strength that pulls you through. So you gotta tap into that. Tap into that last source of energy for that last rep and just do it. It makes you stronger and it'll get you to your results quicker. So that, guys, is how I push myself when I feel like I'm gonna die. I think about the end goal. I don't think about how much it hurts. I don't think about how much I'm suffering. I don't think about how thirsty I am. I don't care. It's a workout. You gotta do what you gotta do and you gotta get it done. There's nothing better than seeing the results after hard work. It is something that everyone should be able to experience in their life. Do not cheat yourself of that opportunity. I want you guys to work hard. And luckily, it's not something you have to do 24 hours a day. Your workout is only like an hour a day. What is that? 4% of 24 hours? I mean, come on. Push through, take it hard, and then relax the rest of the day. So your challenge this week is to push yourself to that level of intensity. I want you guys to really go hard. Stay strong when it hurts. Just know that I hurt the same way you do and we are gonna push it 
together. And so quick vlog, I just want to say thank you so much to all the popsters who posted on my blog, on my Facebook, um, for your love and support on the incident that happened last week. You really cheered me up. I read through every single comment and although I wasn't able to reply back to everyone, trust me, your comments were heard and read and acknowledged and felt. You made me smile to my ears. My heart felt so warm. I literally melted and it just felt like this huge group of girlfriends was around me, um, letting me cry on their shoulder I guess you could say and you guys just so you know you also motivate me and inspire me and you you are so inspirational and I just feel so fortunate to have so many of you out there who you know care about what's going on in my life and I just want you to know that I really care about what's going on in your life too so when I am in LA and then New York next week if you see me around Feel free to say hi and come up to me and talk to me because you see me all the time but I never actually get to see who you are so I would love to know how you're doing. I will be in LA this whole week for some video shooting stuff for exercises and then on Monday March 26th I will be at the Shorty Awards and we'll see if I take home the award for social fitness or not. Um, I'm really not expecting anything, I'm just going to have fun, to meet people and to enjoy the city a little bit. So again, if you see me around, just say hi. And um, if you're scared, then fine. Be a stalker and tweet me afterwards and be like, I saw you at Topshop. All right, love you so much. Bye, guys.